Hello everybody, Jeff here, live at Lowe's, where I came in tonight just looking for a couple of items, and all of a sudden, some massive clearance. And then the more I started looking, the more I started seeing more of these yellow stickers and signs and everything everywhere, and holy cow, are there some unbelievable markdowns. Some of this stuff is like 75% off and, and more. Uh, take a look at this light here. You got this light. This clearance price. You guys got to see if they have this in your store. So this is a porch light. This is an LED outdoor wall lantern. And it looks to me like it comes on dusk till dawn. Like it's got a sensor in it, I guess. And if I had to guess, I guess that's the sensor right there. What's up there, John? And hello, Emil. My buddy Emil is with us tonight. So here we are at, the, at Lowe's. And first thing I saw when I walked in the door is they got these lantern lights here on sale for $10.59, down from $52. That's a huge discount. So there's your uh, number right there. What's up, everybody? Hello, Marco and Michael and Paul from Newport Ritchie. So, yeah, this one is a pretty good price off of $52. So this is the lantern here. Now, I looked at it, and uh, let me just see on the brightness. It's kind of dim, but you know what? It's a porch light. It's not meant to be some huge... Thing right there see so you got 434 lumens which is about half the light of uh of like the kind of older style light bulbs you know that that used to buy for inside your house there what's up eastern and panda bear hey 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 oh thomas says he got the ryobi sprayer for 112 today wait which one which one was 112 which model number or, or uh what what size psi one is that um, anyway, they also have a whole stack of these broom. Uh, these are the range hoods. And I'm like, I'm so tempted to get one, except that I don't really ever use them in my designs because usually I'm pulling out an old range hood when I remodel and putting a microwave oven in its place. But, I mean, check out the prices on these guys. Here you've got this nice broom Corteo, and it's $91 down from 260. So, you know, we're talking major, major clearance percentage off on these things. So for those of you doing a lot of remodeling or just maybe you want to replace an old battered up used range hood, these would be the way to go. And look, here's another one that's 80 bucks, 80, 50 from 230 there, you know? And Cool Tools from the UK says, good evening, Jeff and everyone else in the chat from the UK volunteering tonight. So some freedom. <laughs> there you go. That's one way to get out of that house there. Man, I hope they, they get you guys off of lockdown soon, man. It seems like they, they have you on lockdown, then you're off lockdown, then you're back on again. Oh, it's got to be like just, I'd be going stir crazy. And uh, so let me see if, I was hoping they would show a better picture on the front cover of these, but they didn't. Yeah, let me let me just oh, without destroying the whole pack here. That's sort of what it looks like, right there. And so, yeah, if you're interested in anything like this, see if they have that at your store. Uh, let me give you the item number. Um, the item number is eight zero four six zero six on this one. There's another one that's eight zero four six zero seven. Okay, and these are all stainless steel too, by the way, guys. I mean, gosh, usually these things are like a couple of hundred bucks. And let me see if the other one, here's one that's 69 bucks. This one is 804612. So this one was 199. So you're talking, you know, one third the price, you know. And those barn doors, I don't know if you guys saw that. I made a little post about that and we talked about it in our video last week, but most people are reporting back that they can't get them now. Uh, one guy told me he went into his store and somebody was buying six of them and that was the end of that. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're, we're, we're hearing those stories all over the place. Check price out on this, guys. This entire 30 pound galvanized roofing nails thing, a dollar six, a dollar six, man. So, and then, like, all of these are like that, too. The whole... Look, you could walk in here right now, and there's all your roofing projects if you're a roofer for the next few weeks in here. That's a really, really good price on those guys. Holy cow. And then here, we <clears throat> we still have more of these AWPs that I've been telling you guys about here. And some of these things, look, they're down to, like, 41 cents a buck. Um, I don't know if these are still going to ring up at 10 bucks or not. 
but the other day they had some that were and what is this i don't even know they don't they don't have a price on this guy a lot of the things that i've scanned in tonight you know once they have them on clearance you'll often see it that it won't scan in on the app or if it does it'll come in full price so the only way to tell and i keep telling you guys about this for the last several months the only way to tell is to grab an employee with a real Lowe's scanner, not just scanning in and on their phone, on their app, It's but it's gotta be the real Lowe's scanner that will tell you the price. And see, look, we got these guys. Now I picked up a few of things like this over a couple of weeks ago that we still plan on giving away when we do our giveaway, I don't know. And, and the giveaway might not happen until early February. It's just because of the, the, time, the time constraints. Now this bag here, and then we see Jose Ramirez just sent a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, Jose. And he says, hey, Jeff, I know this is a tool show, but if you happen to <clears throat> walk by the grills, can you see if there's any deals on that charbroiled infrared grills? We're actually right near them. So, yeah, we'll be walking right by those in a second. Look at this bag. Now, I don't know how much this one is. I think when I'm done with the, with the stream here, I'm going to have one of the employees scan this. And let me know how much this bag is, but I'm willing to bet it's going to be dirt cheap. And man, I, I would love to score. If they're cheap enough, I might just snag all of them. I'll have enough giveaways for the rest of the year, guys, with this stuff. So yeah, um, make sure you check in your your lows if they have these AWPs because they are replacing them with a new company, and so that's why they're getting them all dirt cheap. And then they got this other thing of look at all these nails. So these are. 50 pounds of sinker nail coated ADs. Look at this. Again, you're talking less than one third the original price on these here. You know that? Any good miter saw deals? Well, we're going to check that in a minute. We're going to be heading by over there. This lock, that doesn't look like a very good price. Because normally locks like these are eh, usually about in the $20 range. Oh, what have we here, guys? All right, you guys just tell me what price you want and I'll go ahead and print that out for you. <laughs> I'm thinking $29.99 close out for that DeWalt Flexible table saw. What do you think about that? All right, so here's the Webers. Let me see if they get any of these are um, infrared. Natural gas burners. No, see, these guys don't have any. Uh, I don't know if this one has any. Nope. Just the regular gas burners. See, I really don't like the way they have the um, the shields on some of these. Uh, this one's probably okay there. But nothing infrared. They may not even have any infrared here because it would be much higher price than these. It's usually only on the really big, expensive, fancy ones. I have infrared on mine at home. I have it. So, like... Okay, here you go. Here's brilliance in engineering right here, folks. I like the fact that they got the window on this one, though. This is sweet. So how much is this guy? This guy is $629. But no, he does not have an infrared. Oh, he does. Over on the left. Yeah, so this is one. So here's one with $629. Let me see if I can wheel it out a little bit. Does it... Yeah, it does wheel out. I really, um, I like this, but I can sort of tell by looking at it that that's not real stainless steel. So the way you tell is you bring a magnet with you and you put the magnet on there. If the magnet doesn't stick, then it's real stainless. If the magnet goes boom, that means they made this with an alloy, <clears throat> which means it's going to stain, corrode, and all that. But hey, here's your infrared. See, You can see your stakes right here with this. So 629 is actually not that bad a deal to get something that does this. And it has the rotisserie. It comes with the rotisserie, the motor here and the bread the bread rack in the back but i i really like the fact that you can look in there and see all the way across your uh your meat cook in there so you can see like a our flames licking up at it right now is it going to burn on me so that's kind of interesting i've been complaining for years that some of the higher end grills even didn't have like a window on them you know all right so there was we're going to head over towards like the saws and all of the other there was a boatload of other clearance items guys that we're going to check out here i mean just this particular store is just putting like boatloads of the yellow clearance stickers everywhere so we're heading down sort of that way right now and let's see if we need other questions came in there nothing in columbus ohio wow 
bent the bent the okay so novice nix says he bent the bar on the dewall pole saw today oh oh it should still work right okay now they get some some uh, christmas closeouts but let me tell you something guys this right here is the reason why you subscribed to this channel folks right there look at that huh bob ross chia pet you saw it here folks exclusive i don't even know how much it is but <laughs> that is funny you know yeah they still got a, quite a few items here left over from christmas all right so we're gonna come down here and you guys know we don't even need to bother scanning <laughs> I scanned it a few minutes ago before I even went live, so yeah, we already know. There's still $39.99. Yeah. And let me see. Did they lower oh, big what? So they lowered these by a buck. Nothing big there. Now somebody, a few people have told me about this cobalt flashlight here, guys. Now I haven't seen it. I was looking for it here. But they said it was down to like a couple of bucks. I think that was like normally was it like 12 bucks or more than that or something like that but i haven't seen it here and i also don't know what it looks like or the part number i just had them a couple of people told me that yesterday they you know they on our comments on our other videos and robert says jeff i swear i never find any deals at my lows i went on sunday looking yeah maybe you gotta go to like one of the if there's a like a real big one in a big wealthy kind of populated area um that might help these are still $34.98. And I know a lot of you are having trouble finding them in it. I don't know why these are still sitting here at $34.98. I thought these would have been gone by now. You know? And then here, check this out, guys. These are, they're clearancing out these cobalt gloves. These are the two pairs. And I'd buy all of these in a heartbeat, except these are, you know, extra large. I'm extra medium, you know? So I'll never fit into these things. These are, I'll be swimming in these. Tell them large Marge sent ya. All right, so that. Um, they still haven't dropped the price on these guys. These here, this set, which is kind of a, an interesting set. Let me just show you the price and everything real quick on that. This is kit number 1483286. 148386. So this has like a little bit of something for everybody. It's 50 pieces. And I like that it has the clear lid. And look, I mean, it just has all of these little adapters. You've got your, your socket adapters. And look, all the different uh, Torx bit sizes and everything. I think I'm going to get this. And I'm going to hold out for like if they drop the price even more and we'll do some for giveaways. Now here we have the... We, I can't believe they still have one here at this price because... Uh, $41.98. I've had a few of you tell me you got it in the 30s at your store. So this is the pair. It's it's a two-pack of the saw horses. 247-4041. We showed you that the other day. We also showed you this one the other day, but if any of you missed it, this is the 286-piece plastic three-drawer kit with the wrenches in the, in the door. See that? And this kit right here is like $145. Okay, so there's the kit number, 2474048. Now, the interesting thing about that one is the the 227-piece version of this is actually $199. Bucks. Oh, go figure. Yeah, so we're going to get this. Let me uh, start down here, cause, and we'll start going through all of those. Um, the discount, the yellow, some of them are new lower price. Some of them are, like, clearance. So here's one here, like see, like this little DeWalt, this little 18-piece kit. So this one was $19.98, and it's down to $10.38 now. It's a little screwdriver kit. All right, just little things like that. And I'm going to show you some Atabos in a minute that that are nicely marked down. Let me see. Oh yeah, so here's the Bosch, and I hope we're we're still in good coverage here for you guys. Um, Sometimes some parts of the store it might get a little. Uh, the video quality might degrade, but look at this. You get some of these auger bits from Bosch, like three quarter inch one. So a lot of these are marked down dramatically from, you know, 18 down to the $11 range. So these are the kind of typical pricing you're seeing on these. Some of these drill bits and stuff are, are marked down nicely as well. 
So this is all of the, the Bosch section. And in here in our store, these, this is sort of part of the pro center. So we got everything here down by the pro desk. And let's see, let me put this guy back where I found him. And let me see if any questions came in about any of that stuff. Benjamin says, do I need to put underlayment on big form bathroom floor tiles? Only if you're on the second floor of a, of a condo, like multifamily housing, you're required to put down some type of sound suppression. Usually, I usually put down quarter inch cork. And that's what we've done in condos before. And even even if it's in your own house, you might want to do it just to make it quieter. It'll you, you'll be you'll be thankful you did it. I was gonna see if this is a, this is a tile mortar. No, there was no. Sometimes they fool you with the yellow stickers. You think you're getting a deal, and they're really not. And then remember, I showed you guys these the other day as well. Um, you may not have them left in your store, but I had a few of you tell me that you were able to go in and get it after we showed you this. So this was the 60 gallon that was marked down to like this. Somebody told me there was one of them that was like an $800 compressor that they got in the $200 range. I'm like, holy cow. So here's the 30 gallon. So that's item number 905519. Okay. And I'll breeze through these because we already showed them. Some of you told me at your store that this, I don't know if it was this DeWalt or the double tank one, was heavily discounted as well. And I've even had a few of you tell me that you saw this one discounted at your store. So make sure you check all three of those as well. And then I'm hoping we have enough signal in this little spot here. But uh, basically, a lot of these little Bosch bits and stuff everything you can see it's just they're all clearanced out guys every one of these and i would imagine it won't be long before they keep dropping especially when you see those weird numbers like 88 and 56 at the end of them right i have a feeling <clears throat> that means it's going to continue the downward spiral and then also a lot of these craftsman impact bits as well see Just numerous, numerous, like all across the board. And I don't think this was like this the other day. I don't remember seeing this the other day. I would have noticed it because it struck me like a sore thumb. And then I like this thing here. Look at this, the sheer attachment. So you put this on your impact driver, and I guess it turns it into a little snipper thing here. If you're in the mob, you could use that to interrogate guys, you know. Where's the drugs? Give me the drugs, man. Where's the drugs? I'll cut your fingers off. So look, look at this. Here's some the DeWalt bits also. <clears throat> I don't know what they're planning. If they're clearancing all of these things or if they're just doing it so that they can have the area cleared. Because like I said, they're resetting this whole store. <clears throat> they have guys that come in in the middle of the night and they've been doing, um, you know, stuff all over the place. Here you got like drill bits, more craftsman drill bits. And what have we got here? Things like some of these, um, I always forget what we, what we call these guys. Uh, the unibits, the step bits, that's what we call them, the step bits, yeah. And like, so like this one here, they're taking, you know, noticeable chunks off the price on some of these things here. A lot of these things from Irwin. <clears throat> All right, so that's what you do. You just come down and look down the aisle there. You know, if you're looking for bits and pieces, you definitely want to check there. All right, <clears throat> now down on the metabos here, I saw some reductions in price. Uh, I don't see the impact wrench here. Let me see, because they have this here. That's not the impact wrench. Apparently, I don't know if, if it was where they had it stored before, but yeah, they dropped it down uh, 99 from 179. The impact wrench, and it might be, is it the quarter inch? Uh, if it's this one, let me see. I, th I believe this guy is this guy right here. That's my guess. Okay, so they did the same thing almost with the impact driver. It's only 99 from 149. And it's funny, they still have this sign up, but I don't think this thing's still in, in, in action here because this ends, according to the sign here, on December 24th. This sign should have been taken down a long time ago. And I know a few of you had 
told me you were able to take advantage of this when we showed you this, where if you bought this Cirque Saw or this Sawzall and then you go register it on the, the Metabo website, they would send you like an extra battery for free. And um, then at the same time, Lowe's, the store here, was giving you a battery and a charger kit. Uh, so let me see. So they got just boatloads, but not like massive amounts off. But, you know, you're talking $50 off, $40 off on some of these here. Let me see if any questions came in here. Yeah, any M12 Milwaukee fans saw their pinnulars out? Yeah, that came out. I haven't seen it at our store yet, at our um, local Home Depot but i had heard that it was out we had, we finally got the laser in my store i've been using the laser uh the last few days over at this project that we're on with the kitchen so if you guys haven't seen our live streams from it you should go and check them out what else have we got here oh so so here you got some auger bits from spider and these are like half off more than half off guys look at that Hitachi Matabo are quality professional tools for sure. Yes, they are. A lot of guys swear by them. Um, so you got yeah, more and more of these bits that are you know, significantly off. Yeah, the Forstner. They got all these Forstners here. These guys. So I'm just kind of walking down the aisle. And I hope it's... A, is the video still clear down this aisle? Because we're, we're kind of like in between both sets of doors where... It doesn't look like you'd get much signal in here. All right, now I want to see if um, everything here on Cobalt is still the same as it was before. All of these guys are still 99. They haven't changed any. Nerdy says, I went for the new DeWalt 20 volt pressure washer today. Not released yet in New York. Wow, we've had it for two weeks down here. I bought mine last week. I was filming yesterday. I'll be filming again tomorrow on it and hope to have that up by the weekend. And by the way, guys, ah, oh, we are down at seat. They should have left these out front and center. Oh, see, I thought we sold out of these already just because I hadn't walked down here in a while. So when these first hit back in October, they were $29. And I told you guys, don't buy them. Don't buy them yet. Wait till they drop down to like half. And they did. They dropped actually to $14.98 right after Black Friday. And I already picked a few of these up. We already gave some of these out as a tool giveaway. I already mailed them off. And now they're down to $10.48, guys. You cannot beat that price. That's as low as that's ever going to go. I, I, I don't even know if it'll go lower. But, I mean, at this price, people are going to start snapping these up. In fact, you know who's going to snap up a couple? I think I will. And we'll do these as giveaways because I love these things. So let me see. These are both SAE. Yeah, they're yeah. Because the way you tell is the metric ones <clears throat> have like a weird kind of creamy colored handle or something like that. They look different. And look, we're still wiped out on the table saws. Um, I don't see any miter saw deals right now. Looks like they've taken all of the the price to the deal tags off of most of them except we still have this one here the dewalt but remember this is a single bevel guys and i don't recommend a single bevel saw unless you know that you're not gonna grow and progress much over the years and start getting into doing uh, crown molding and baseboard where you're going to want to flip them and you don't want to have to keep flipping them over on the other side to make the cut that's just terrible i actually have <clears throat> my older dewalt is like this single bevel not till I bought the flexible with the slider. And then we still got this one for 69. Now this Matabo one here, this lone guy on the floor, he was. Now they're showing, I think, like 149, but he was down to 89 at Black Friday. So bummer. No deals right now on the miters. The mighty, the mighty miters. I want to go back around and check. Um, they had that battery-operated cobalt miter. I want to see what the price is on that guy. Let's see if there's any deal over there. So nothing on the table saws. And we actually got a Matabo in stock, which is amazing. Because everybody's been out of them. But it's 569 So we're just kind of waiting now. We're in that waiting period for the next time it goes on sale. 
And yeah, see, this one's back up to 269. They had a pretty good deal on this. So I think at, at Black Friday or Christmas time, this was down, I believe, to 199, and they were giving you a free six amp hour battery to go with it. Because this is that that uh, cordless one. And then see, don't always don't always fall for these yellow taxes. You see that? Nowhere on there does it say clearance, and nowhere on there does it say was like on on this one or on this one or on this one. I think it's just there to grab your attention because this thing's always been 199. This was 199 when I bought it um, in 2016. I bought this, and but I think I used a Lowe's 10% off coupon or something at the time that I had. So you know, oh wait, the thing was zoomed in way too far. There we go. There we go. On those yellow, they ran out of the white tag. Yeah, probably. Bluetooth is low. All right, let me see what else. I have this one, and this is actually at the site where I'm doing my friend's kitchen right now. And I love it. I love the base on this thing. Because there's a subwoofer. Like I don't know if it's on the bottom or what. But then you have tweeters on all four corners here. And then this guy has four plugs on it. So you can plug in four other tools. And and then on this side here, you have, I don't know if this will open or not. This is probably a, a like a, a dummy model. But if you open up the digital bay, there's a like a USB charger for your phone there. And there, your phone talks Bluetooth to this. That's how you get the music to come out. So yeah, pretty good. I love it. I love that thing. And it's rugged as hell too. And I'm still hoping that they would drop the price on these tremendously, but they didn't. I think I bought one of these at $39. I think it was, maybe it was more, I don't know. But we're going to be testing this out in the next week or so, hopefully. Lord willing. Um, anything else? Remember I told you guys about this? I warned you. I warned you. It's back up to $59.98. And back on Black Friday, I told you guys, you better get in there now while this is, thir this was $39.98 on Black Friday. You got a 80 tooth and you got a 32 tooth in there. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, I knew that would go right back up. Michael Scott says, no flashlight. Yeah, I don't know where they, the two people that reported back to me, I don't know where, where they saw them at. I mean, I was looking all up and down here because I'm like, if those things are two bucks, yeah, heck yeah count me in i'll come in and buy a whole bunch and then the other one that i keep forgetting to tell you guys about but i've showed it to you before and about a few weeks ago over in the ope aisle we don't have any more here because they sold out that was that sears craftsman sears i keep saying sears that craftsman i think it was a 25 cc was it the blower that was like 45 bucks and now a lot of people are telling me they're down to like 25 bucks in their store but it never even got that low here just simply because they sold out already right these have not dropped yet in price. These have not dropped in price. All right, who's this dude here with all of these DeWalt things? I thought we had, a, we, thought we had some mods in here tonight, don't we? Anyway, so there's uh, that. Oh, here we go. Here we got a Gladiator, the gear loft. Is that that thing that, um, that floats up and hangs from the ceiling? I don't have any pictures of it. But here's the... This is on clearance too, man. Check this one out. Oh, look at that. You see what it was? It was a special order return. So that's like half price right there. Dang. Dang. I'm still looking for those flashlights and I'm not finding them. No flashlights. And let me remind you guys because I still have... Many of you reporting back good news to me every day that you're able to find these 105 um, gunmetal pieces, the sets. So remember what I told you before, in case you missed it, but is that the gunmetal set looks almost exactly like the regular chrome set, except the gunmetal sets have this fancy white craftsman right there, and they have the metal latches, okay, as opposed to these regular guys here with the black plastic latches. So I've told people, and a number of you have listened, and you look up, and sometimes, you know, if you don't see it here on the shelf, I've had a number of people tell me, yeah, Jeff, I looked up there, and they had it up up top there. So if you see how I zoom into those right there? Those are gun metals, but I doubt that they're this size. I, I, I can tell by the, 
the SKU number on them there. So, any blue spanners for overseas channel member? <laughs> yeah, right? And the Craftsman Blower was $10. Wow, they had one guy that bought them all. Yeah, they're probably all on Facebook Marketplace right now or eBay. All right, so once you know how to identify these from a distance, you can look right at them and go, hey, maybe that's them. Another thing you do that another people, a lot of people have followed my advice on is you pull out all of these chrome kits and you just start looking through them one by one and all the way to the back wall of it there and see if there was a 105 gunmetal mixed in with it. Because if you could get that gunmetal, man, that's a that's a 59, and some people are saying, yeah, 40, yeah, that's right, 47. That was the last price we paid for these. And um, <clears throat> Benzai says I scored four of those gunmetal sets. Wow, that's awesome. Nice big haul on that one, bro. And then, um, yeah, Dirty Sanchez says four of the gunmetal is still in Melbourne on uh, Minton Road. It's right up by um, Cape Kennedy there. Cape Canaveral, I don't even know what we call it anymore. That's where we used to see all the shuttle launches. All right, so let me see if we got anything else. So I don't want to take up any of y'all's more time too much. Uh, yeah, so we have the laser measure. Now, keep in mind, this is more of a commercial grade one because it goes 165 feet. But it is down to $99. It's got Bluetooth. That's probably why it's that much. And here, well, they only took five bucks off this. This is the Lufkin 300 foot measuring tape. And anything else? I think we caught it all, man. So I wonder if it's the Cobalts are what they brought in to replace the AWPs. <clears throat> Either the Cobalt or whoever this other one is, Tough Built. That might be the one that they brought in. But man, I feel sorry for the people at AWP because now they're going to be losing all that income. All right, nothing else, nothing else. Going once, going twice. We still have these guys going for nine dollars, nine dollars and eight cents. So these were twelve ninety eight. And you know you can snub your nose all you want at at, at uh, these, but these are great just to like when you're working on remodeling a house, you put one of these in every room so you don't have to keep worrying. Hey, where did I put that stupid tape measure? I keep one in every room <clears throat> and a couple out by the saw. And that was it. All right, good. So I hope you guys uh, found this useful. And if you did, hey, give us a thumbs up, would you please, down below. And then uh, make sure you subscribe down below so you can be aware when we do our next tool giveaway, which should be coming up pretty soon there. And uh, remember to check your store for all of those range hoods that we showed you up the back on the other side of the store there. All right, because those, those were some pretty good, um, we're talking, you know, $60, $80, $90 for range hoods that are normally in the $230 range there. So that was pretty good. All right, guys, so I'm going to check out of here. So we'll see you all on the next one. Have a great night, and take care, everybody. Bye.